Okay, in this video, we're going to look at a solution to um, the typical start stop uh, latch that is not quite so easy on the Genie Flowchart software initially as it is with the um, program with PLC ladder logic. So, the um, little switchboards that we use here have got a normally open push button on DO and a normally closed push button on D1. So we need a second um, digital decision in our program. Um, and then the ordering of things is slightly different. It works best if you check to see if the on push button is on and follow that by checking to see whether the um, stop push button is on. And if you do, and if that is, then you um, turn the output high. So I'll just go high on Q2 only here. Change from our last program. Once you've, um, if we want this program to latch, we have to assume that once the start button's been pushed, the only thing that's going to keep checking is whether somebody's pushed the stop button. So a loop back has to be after the start button. So that way, it's once the start button is pushed and the high comes on, we actually get a loop around here that's going to stay on for as long as the stop button here is high. And then we have to loop back through uh, Q2, we want to go low if the stop button is pushed. We also want Q2 to go low if initially the start button isn't pushed. And then once we've sent it low, we want to check the start button again. This is the issue with microcontrollers. They give you more control, but you have to be more detailed in what you tell it. You have to tell it everything. What to do to start, what to do to stop. You have to do the highs and the lows. Not just mapping one output in a, lab, in a, in a piece of ladder logic and it will turn both off and on. If we run this program now, we should find we need to set this up because um, D1 is, a norm, is, has, is wired normally closed, therefore without anybody having their finger on the button we get a high on that. And we're now checking the start button all the time. When somebody puts their finger on the start button and releases it, it goes through the start button decision, turns the output high, and continually checking to see if anybody's pushed the stop button. When that condition happens, the output turns off and it starts to check the start button again. Notice that the finger has come off the start button, but the output still remains low. Let's stop that program running for a minute and just show that we can also actually name these, we can give these inputs names. So start push button stop push button we can say that this output is start motor or something Okay, and this one is stop for instance. That ends this short video on um, helping you to solve the um, latching circuit, typical latch and start stop circuit with the uh, Genie board.